What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, we're clearing up our uh, trade trading uh, ports by destroying the Spanish fleet and bringing in... We want to bring these ships into the fleet. Um, ships for the ship guard. Um, the Grand Columbian Navy will dominate the seas of the entire world. And we will do that not just by building our own ships, but by co-opting those from other nations who choose to attack us. So let's get our heavy first up front. Actually, heavy first, first, second, 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 third, third. So this fleet will take on the seconds that we capture. There's a galleon up front. We will... Well, we might not sell that. We might actually keep it and put it into a trade fleet as a, to help bring some of the precious goods from the world towards us and away into our trading empire. Potencia and Conde de Tolosa. Well, you will soon come to see that what it really means in this world to be valuable is to be part of the Colombian Empire. I don't mind if the galleon cuts across us because they'll be on the other side of our um, formation and all of our starboard guns can focus on destroying that ship. Whereas now, well, we hopefully, well, we, we, we will be in a good position to just annihilate Potentia, sweep the decks clear of her masts and, and rigging, and then surround and destroy her piece by piece. Especially with Enterprise up front. She may get uh, raked by. Sorbabio? Suburbio? However, they've only, they can only bring 30 guns to bear. And actually, they fired at my Admiral's flagship first. So it did slow us down temporarily. I'm going to temporarily switch to chain shot. I want to use the starboard battery to see if they can sweep some of the masts off of this war galleon. Slow her down. Round shot to fire the remaining broadside against Potencia. There we go. Galleon has surrendered. Let's bring a portion of my fleet. Try cut them off from this direction. My heavy fleets are going to have to engage according to the plan. San Fulgencio is unloading. Potentia. No. They've changed course. Turn to match them. To be fair, I could probably slam you right across her, her course. Conde de Tolosa is progressing just like normal. Sail into the guns of San Mateo. To turn you into the wind, to just set up a decent firing position to the stern of Potencia, while the remainder of our fleet sails to get into a good position. Maybe a bit more aggressively than that. We're going to turn to try and clear out this ship. Let's try to see if we can knock a mast out. Soon you'll be in a good position to do that as well. 
drop anchor, push forward so there's nowhere for that second rate to slip through. Guns are reloading, you're definitely in range of chain shots. Mizzen's gone. Anchor, hunker down. San Mateo is in a bit of a dicey spot. It's clipped another mast off. It's a bit heavy first rate to smash and just keep firing round shot into her hull. This, our first rate ship of the line, try knock out the last mast. She's lost her main mast. Routing. She's not going to go very far with no sails. So let's keep sailing ahead of her. You, know, you just keep sailing like so. She's a wounded beast, but she's not crippled. She's not. Oh, continue for sure. Everyone's just routing. Both of these ships can just smash this ship with round shots. There we go. Push on ahead. There we go. Decisive victory indeed. Although, let's be fair, it wasn't a hugely risky endeavour. Bring all the all of the ships into fleet. Into the fleet. Okay, you put in to lose. I mean, this ship can as well, to be fair. Your mass recruiting. Okay, you're stood here. There is a Spanish fleet. Mi señor. So the thing is about attacking most of the Spanish Todo fleet orden, is that we are in a position to attack their capital. Um, imminently, and it's their last territory, so there's only so much I want to actually engage their navy. Let's put you guys into port. You're a bit of a surplus garrison force, really, but that's okay. We've got this force over here that's uh, besieging Yankton. They'll sally soon. We've got this force, which is calling up reinforcements. Okay, keep on upgrading. Yes, the steam revolution carries on. Make sure it's not missed anything. Yeah, that's the British. By the looks of it, though, our investment portfolio looks pretty strong let's repair you don't agree these because it's already looking dicey enough as it is for this garrison let's try and build some defenses and let's recruit a heavy first right here and start building another front line Battle fleet. Dual bottling on that Spanish fleet. We have two armies that can make that can advance towards 
Madrid. Yeah, we've got a small force here that we don't really need to worry about. The Austrians right there, but again, I'm not hugely bothered. You're in position to the south to prevent a breakout. I mean, when we declare war on Mexico, we need to make sure we bottle them up pretty rapidly to prevent their fleets from causing too much havoc. Um, but anyway, what I could probably do with doing is actually committing some of these fellows to action against the British. Although, again, although, no, they're not far away. They are far away. Rather, a couple of regions plus Copenhagen. Okay, let's actually bring the British to battle ourselves in the north rather than waiting on them to do it. We've been fighting a bit of a forwards and backwards campaign so it would be nice to tidy that up and bring another army to battle. Could potentially send them to attack Copenhagen which would be particularly nice because it would allow us to control entrance to the Baltic Sea for the Austrians so that way they, their only access to the world via the seas is through the, through the Mediterranean, but even then, only amongst the Mediterranean nations, not the wider world, because we have that controlled via the Strait of Gibraltar. So we are going to be on the offensive. Our guns are going to be sighted to maintain a constant bombardment. A nice and uncomplicated, pretty veteran army all things considered oh it's these wood piles isn't it yeah, I might have to deploy behind the guns and then advance past them skirmish cover on the left general in the centre So I want to push up with speed up to about here. We are going to take some losses from friendly fire from my own artillery. But those are acceptable losses. Artillery is firing round shot because it may, it may as well. There's no real... Need to fire quick climb. We're going to do plenty enough damage as it is. Enemy generals within sight. Our infantry is in position. The enemy's light cavalry is going to be in a pretty tough spot. Our right flank, almost all of our right flank. And push the enemy flank. The enemy seem to be broadly retreating. The bow units been sent forward to pay to pay our blood toll to try and delay us. Yeah, that's the end of you. Push forward. Now I want you guys to push the flank even more aggressively. Light cavalry go for the musketman auxiliary. Artillery just keep bombarding the centre. The 88th are going to open up on the 18th Regiment of Militia. Hmm, 
warehouse up here. 82nd Regiment of Foot, the 95th, the 88th Regiment of Foot. These poor devils, yep, breaking and running in large numbers. My semi cuissier towards the enemy general. Chase down the native bow auxiliary. General's bodyguards pushing in now. They're going to soon be taking fire. <laughs> oh, right. Excellent. That's the rest of... Yeah, that is the enemy army almost its entirety, except for the last general's bodyguard. Okay, let's send our cavalry to pursue and destroy. General's bodyguard may or may not go. Regiment of infantry stuck around. My cavalry will deal with them. And right, continue. We're going to hold fire with all of my artillery. And where possible, yeah, just try and focus on killing troops. The hope is the British elect to try and regroup their forces. And then we can destroy that new force. We can do sufficient amounts of damage to them now, however. That only helps our case. Okay, you've got them. It's everybody against these guys, although they are very close to escaping, so not much is going to come of that. But still, good victory. Slaughtering the British. We can maintain our offence. They elect to run away from the edge of the map. For reason or reasons unknown. 21st Hessian um, line infantry did not want to survive. They elected the end. There we go. And so we're going to advance around to here. Alistante. Excellent. Maintain the pressure. We'll get a couple of engagements going. They may run around here and do some annoying stuff. That's why I want to slowly keep chipping away at recruiting militia. Right. So then here in Europe... Is this army ready to rock and roll? They are. So let's bring our fleet of sloops across. Land them off the coast of land them off the coast of Denmark. We can preemptively capture some ports. As well as raid some Austrian ones, although there aren't that many Austrian ones we've not got. It's only effectively modern day Gdansk that's not being covered. We will attack Randolph Mail, his garrison at Copenhagen. Those armies are advancing on Spain. You're just kind of in a bit of a dodgy position because you know who's coming for you. Well, I'm hoping lots of these are quite badly attrited fleets. I'm going to build a trading port, see if I can lure an army away, while this force tries to support. It's going to take some time, though, because our infrastructure is not great. Gibraltar itself is going to try and protect itself. 
So you're repairing. This fleet's repairing. Yeah, I think we just need to recruit some more ships. In terms of tech, interchangeable parts is going to be done, which is really useful. Apart from that, the world can recruit as it likes. We've still got plenty of fighting to go because we haven't even touched India yet. Because we have not yet been able to... Uh, well, we send a fleet to destroy this fleet. Then we can land and take the British possessions in Bengal. If you want to bear that in mind, that we want a British presence to remain while we take over the territories. And that was a bit of a weird end turn phase. Yeah, no, no. One Walloon guard versus a militia unit. I don't like those odds. Retirada, retirada. So Spain is getting ready for a fight. Britain, they're bringing more troops to bear somewhere. Do I want to intercept that army? It's very weak. Absolutely, Sylvester Kitchener. Come at us. Absolutely come at us. So my hope, my main objective is to try and push the Spanish capital, capture it, destroy all those Spanish troops. That's the plan. If I can carry it out or not is another question. But let's find out. Oh, city battles. I'm going to deploy out here. City battles definitely have their place, but I think I just enjoy the... If I'm not trying to... If I have no choice, then I'll, then I'll do it. If I do have a choice, I'll try and avoid it. Because manoeuvring in the open ground... You can maximise your firepower, minimise your casualties. It's just so good. Recruit my cavalry. Turn off the fire at will of my dragoons. Okay. If I get my horse artillery over here. Try use, do use my horse artillery the way it was more historically accurate to use it in a way of providing additional mobile firepower for my cavalry. In Howitzers can just focus on the cavalry. My foot artillery is going to keep bombarding the six pounder up here. Then get into position. The fourth light horse will soon be upon us. As my light dragoons push my light dragoons to the top of the hill. Look, oh, they're charging a fawn battle line. There they were. my infantry up to secure the high ground. Get the horse artillery ready to set up. Advance rapidly. Glad they're here. they're actually routing the good way. Okay, my light dragoons get to the top of the hill, blast them with a volley.
Gaze the militia. You men, when you're all in position, you'll get your carbines out and you'll give these guys what for. Silly fellow. Carbines ready. Reload and do it again. Destroy the enemy artillery. Charge the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. My pikes and native melee troops. Shoot at the dragoons that are right in front of you. Light dragoons. Attack the enemy general. He's coming your way. I'll send my cuirassier over here too. Actually, no, I won't. They're going to go kill some of these infantrymen. The bow and arrows are slowly chipping away at these dragoons. Yes, this fellow got him. at him. Four, three, two, one. Go get him. Advance all my artillery engage. It's one unit of African infantry guards. They're winning slightly, allegedly. Oh, the real Royal Cairo Infantry Guards are winning slightly. Too bad they won't kill enough of them in time. There we go, the Enemy General is breaking. Well, he was. 43 versus 18. You can't kill my Light Dragoons fast enough. There we go, he got the general. Yeah, you better run. Nice. Back you go, you scallywag. I mean, I mean, I'm going to war resolve that. Victoria! <laughs> but they're just going to keep sending these baby stacks against us. Then the auto resolve mechanism gets a bit of an exercise. Oh, there we go. The Austrians have got a bit of a backbone. So if I just withdraw my sloop, they'll never chase us this way. Well, it's a very long way to run away. Quick, we've been attacked in the Baltic Sea. Run to Africa. Oh, you're bolstering your raiding fleet, eh? Not for long, you're not. Oh, the native troops are attacking inside of Yankton. Yes, we will defend against such a such a devilish attack. Soon this area will fall. Then it will be another force that will move towards the Mexican border, ready for operations there. Don't give up the ship, said James Mugford. Okay, let's set up a relatively typical defensive line against native troops where you want your artillery in the line and my artillery is going to like this infantry is probably going to deploy like this keep my native troops on the right 
I'm going to do some aggressive patrolling with my cavalry to make sure we get that, have the best chance of spotting their infantry. So particularly, we need to scout ahead here. See if it's safe to move up the left flank of our, the right flank of our army. Move up the household cavalry. There's some enemy troops directly ahead of us. up towards the threat because the area ahead of us is clear significant enemy concentration of troops let's retreat on the left all howitzers to do some attack ground quick climbing Charge native warriors just to pin them. All my light dragoons to smash into the bowmen. There you go, just to just to try and cover the area. Okay, withdraw the cavalry. Hey, they actually managed to rout them out. Cool. Either way. They might come back, actually. Especially the Light Dragoons. Mounted Tribal Gunners are moving in. Send in my Household Cavalry. See? I thought you guys would come back. Burns. Go for the chief's bodyguard. Actually, no, don't. Don't go. Don't overreach. Don't overextend. Quick climbs coming in. That'll knock some holes in it. My cavalry's going to focus on the native war. Actually, my cavalry might go more central. Withdraw. Actually, they might go for the native warriors to try and crack them. Bring my cavalry back down into the warrior society so you guys have to run into the back of the warrior society you guys have to charge the bowmen ah they got my cavalry again although my my cav my um gunfire probably didn't help there Try charge the back of this warrior society. It doesn't help. They actually, they're actually picking apart a couple of my units. So I'd rather bash into the back of a couple of them. Oh, chief's bodyguard off. I don't like the look of that. Let's try. I 
Okay, you guys try run your artillery away like so. No, don't, no, sorry, don't run into the combat, run away from the combat. Okay, you try withdraw. I have to keep relearning my lesson with the native with the native troops. It's no good trying to if you get too aggressive, they'll get you. Ah, oh, I drew a minute to try to get my general away. You guys just have to hold out. Just keep just keep attacking. Tie them up as much as you can. Build pounder howitzer. Just start trying to quick climb as much of the enemy as you can. <laughs> so my my artillery definitely got caught up. Although you're 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 making it, you're making it. Focus on the warriors. Then go after the tribal gunners. Charge into the war society in the flank. Impetuousness. These guys are going to be under infantry fire, so they'll be taken care of quite nicely. Unlimber this artillery piece. Armed tribesmen, again, they're under artillery fire. Bring my heavy cavalry over. This infantry unit has survived. There we go. You attack the bowmen. Try to reform a new line. Using these troops as sacrificial lambs, howitzers, switch to round shot, bombard the chief's bodyguard. Heavy cavalry smash into the back of the native bowmen. Excellent. Keep attacking the armed tribesmen. Although these men get clear. If we can rout that unit of armed tribesmen, then we'll just try and run them clear. They're gonna get hit regardless in the crossfire. Run my cavalry in against the chief's bodyguard, make my infantry fall back. Actually, let's see if I can just lure them back here. 24 pounders getting in position. Pursuing my household cavalry. Oh, 
good quick line okay you're gonna run here and then run across the front of my line there we go Whew. <laughs> that's what happens when you start getting cocky against the native americans they get you although i got them a lot more than they got me you want peace do you no no peace we've paid for that territory and we're going to collect oh here comes the swedish army oh thank god they got beaten by the british otherwise that would have stopped me from invading it we're not going to let that happen no sir everyone wants access to the med but because we're blocking it no one wants it enemy raid at porto so this is the spanish up to no good you're going to push the capital because it's going to upset them massively. You're going to move back to the capital in a position to defend it. Okay, let's take extra infantry. If you want to come for this territory, you have to fight for it. You're rushing towards Algiers. Let's get Algiers reinforced. Enemy raid. Yeah, that's fine. Enemy raid. That is also fine. Tech advance. Interchangeable parts. Super duper. Who you've gone on for light infantry doctrine. I'd rather you go for... Actually, you can't go for mass production. They do not have classical economics. So Medellin, go for... Classical economics. Steam engines, industrial mining complexes. We are cooking. Just keep upgrading this region. Because by the time we're ready, we will be storming ahead on that in that region. Um, not a terrible fleet. Okay, he's one of our heavies. She put them into Ajdir. Okay, let's take the... She's a while before they're ready yet. She bolster one of our trade fleets. Sebastian Serrano is ready. But, I mean, if we take this region, unless Hanover declares war on us, which I don't think they will. No, we're friendly. We're not going to have a front line against Austria to worry about. I mean, we will definitely fight that. Portugal. Recruiting all of the Royal Africa Royal Current Jugard that we can get. There we go, see if that helps quell the rebellion. Down to minus four. Not terrible. We do need to go fight you. Let's recruit a... Actually, is the militia still the cheapest? It is technically the Desert Warriors at 150. They can garrison Oran. This militia... I mean, you could feasibly push them out against us, but there's no point. I mean, you're within range to attack the city, but I wouldn't, wouldn't like your chances. Um, I think the best thing to do is to attack Copenhagen. Take it from the British. It may bring us into war against Sweden. And they have a navy, but it won't be able to... It won't be able to... Uh, actually, actually, he'll be able to stand up against you. We need more... F yeah, we need more heavy fleets. Although our heavy fleets... Okay, bring a heavy fleet over here. This smaller fleet... You can block up here. Because that fleet will knock seven bells out of here. This fleet. 
Let's have at it and go for Copenhagen. Hmm. So guys, in a rather unhelpful twist, I managed to get a crash to desktop while filming this battle. Um, which meant that everything before my autosave was not... Well, wasn't lost, but I had to auto-resolve down here to get back to where we were. So that's why some of the dispositions of troops are different. Um, I managed to do this again. Uh, the troops I had over in the Black Hills, they too are now in it, have different amounts of troops lost. Because I auto-resolved that, because I couldn't be asked to fight it again. Just because of one corrupted um, battle. So now we are back fighting against Copenhagen yeah I have no idea why sometimes this game just crashes like that but there was nothing particularly dangerous going on it, the game just decided oh, I don't know no idea this game I do get crashes they're few and far between but when they do they're incredibly frustrating especially when I've had a long I've fought a numer a number of major battles I really you know, I have to go through and manually fight them again if they're really important but that, that's just another hour just to get back to where I was and ugh. Yeesh. Because I don't do I don't do quick saves. Because it's the you know, quick saving adds the temptation to go back after you've made a big mistake. Um which I'm not really a fan of. If you do it, great. It's up to you. Not it's not really my thing. Um but yes, so <laughs> pre hey, that's interesting. Previously we were fighting about over here really but still i imagine this would be more interesting for you guys fighting in the town because normally i don't like doing that so let's put my howitzers to provide direct support put artillery there isn't really any high ground just put the guns out wide okay so i definitely want so the melee attack of my line infantry is higher yeah, it's gonna be my put a block of line infantry in the town with my native warriors. Keep my mercenaries out wide on the flank where my guns are. With another unit of infantry. There we go. Cavalry are wide, German ones, and the skirmishers probably go through the town. So I mean, this will be this will be interesting for me because this is this is a different battle than I fought last time. I mean, I wasn't that far into it when it crashed, but I was far enough into it. <laughs> uh, right. Especially as last time they didn't have mortars, so that is a new. That is the re-rolling the garrison actually gave them a more dangerous option. Push up, push up, push up. Native musket and auxiliary garrison that house. Actually, no, don't bother going for the dragoons. They'll be dead soon enough. Now it says quick line the provincial line. Quick line the line infantry guards. Oh no no, hold fire, don't shoot. Are you gonna clip that infantry unit? No. I mean, a lot of their cavalry did attempt to try and get the jump on us. Okay, you men occupy this house. See if you can lure in some of their troops. The yeomanry are down. Attack the horse grand air guards. Run my troops out wide. You're ganging up on one handful of hussars. Oh, you're engaging me with point blank fire. Cavalry. I mean, the Swiss pikemen are heading towards me. 
But I've got plenty of infantry around to prevent anything too dangerous from happening. Oh, you men, ceasefire. Here come the Swiss Jaeger. Run my native warriors into the town as well. Well, there we go. They want to try to take back this house. Push the horse grenadier guards. Quick is doing fantastic work, as are my line troops. Glorious. Auxiliary, keep on the move. Ah, you broke your cowards. Engage the Swiss Grenadiers. They're on the move. Fire a round shot with the howitzers because we're getting things are getting a bit dicey now. Hey, you may have to jump into the back of that Swiss pike unit. They stole on a march on some of our fellows. Kill the general's bodyguard. Swing up our flank of infantry. There we go. We squash the Swiss pikes. Form up. Okay. Advance. The enemy is in dire straits. Our native warriors have come back. Can you men push out from your position? Get my infantry out of here. Now it's fire, bombard the square. Same with my foot artillery. Just keep lobbing in shots. Actually, my foot artillery engaged the general's bodyguard. Forgot about my native bow auxiliary. Swiss grenadiers are under fire. His gun didn't work. Oh, they're still advancing though. Nope, not anymore. Defences caused problems again. Cavalry, get that provincial militia. Engineer is on the prowl. We can knock out the first regiment though. We'll swing our infantry around. I'm not coming up to help. Then select everybody except the general's bodyguard. Then the cavalry and have a go at them. Go get them. Fourth regiment of dragoons and the sixth regiment of dragoons. Cut down some of these troops on the way out. 
There they are, the second foot guards. No, nope, they've gone. They have broken. Nice. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. There we go. So the Battle of Copenhagen has been fought and won. Oh yes, that's the reason why my money's a bit different. It's because I've because of auto resolved some battles, I've now got slightly different troops. I'm like I've not done a bunch of recruitment um from the last episode. So there will be things I, I did previously that I have not done now. So I'm not gonna do a lot of um investing investing. Let's put this loop in here, you go into Lubeck, destroy the uh, go the uh, university, upgrade the roads, and we're going to reinforce the town. So down here, you're replenishing. We did, I manually destroyed one army, then automatically destroyed another. This time they only attacked me with one. So when this army pushes up, they're going to do a bit of clearance work. And then we still got the Spanish here. You're still one turn away from attacking Madrid. You've been evicted, but that's not terrible. Okay, let's send you guys after this Austrian fleet that's been here for a while. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of this frustrating little Austrian fleet. Cheers everyone.